everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabriella Todd and my name is Zach Todd. He is my wonderful husband and today we're back with another video and we wanted to talk about how do we handle conflict in our marriage. So babe, how would you define conflict for anyone that's watching? What is conflict? I've never had any conflict. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, so how would I describe how we handle it? No, how would you define conflict? Oh, define it? Yeah. Um, I would say, really, I guess the foundation for it would be two opposing perspectives. You can see that there could be the one situation or one, one thing in the middle, but you look at it from a different point of view. And a lot of times conflict will arise just just because of that. Yeah. And there's many different takes on it, many things can manifest from it, but I guess that would be the simplest way to put it. That's good. So if you have been struggling recently, maybe you're having difficulty or conflict in relationship, or you've been struggling with, let's say your self-esteem. I know for me, it's sometimes been overwhelming for me to process my emotions when things are very stressful. Um, then our sponsor for today's video, BetterHelp, wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. You can talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience, and BetterHelp offers over 20,000 plus therapists in their network that you have access to that may not be readily available in your area. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to assess your specific needs and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. You schedule secure video and phone sessions and you can also exchange unlimited messages with your therapist. Plus everything that you share is completely confidential. One of my friends has recently started using BetterHelp for her therapy sessions and she's told me how helpful it has been for her in this season and processing some things that she's going through, through right now. So Zach and I are actually really looking forward to starting our own sessions yeah. in the near future. Let's say, you know, you and your therapist are not really connecting, not it's not really working out. You can request a new therapist anytime at no additional charge. So what are you waiting for? Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. And we have a special discount code for you guys. You can get 10% off your first month using the code betterhelp.com forward slash Gabriella. I'm going to include that link in the description box for you guys to also visit them. So Zach and I are approaching our first year of marriage and, you know, we're by no means like experts, which is why we use, you know, companies like BetterHelp with, to receive that yeah. guidance and expertise. But we kind of wanted to just give you guys insight, right, into how we navigate conflict within this first year. And for me, the number one thing that I do and I think that we do together is to intentionally pray. Yeah to pray and ask the Lord for insight and clarity into our situation and kind of um, help us step back and reflect on, you know, how are we operating in that situation, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So for example, for me, um, typically like minor conflicts is I'm expecting Zach to do something that he's not doing. Like I want him to change in a specific area and or maybe he's slow to change, right? But when I'm going to prayer, it's God dealing with me. And God saying, you know, you need to change. You need to change your perspective. You need to be more gentle. You need to be more patient. You need to be more gracious. And more importantly, are you offering, you know, what you're asking him to do? Like, if I'm asking him to be more consistent in something, well, am I being consistent in that area? Because if I'm not, then I can't expect that from him either. For me, it's really just praying, um, asking the Lord to first deal with me, to change me, and to not have those expectations on Zach to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. How have you been able to handle conflict this year? Uh, for me, the most challenging thing that I have found for me is, is to like really suppress those thoughts of trying to voice my thoughts or opinion to, I guess in a sense, try to convince her and getting rid of that idea and just actually giving her a place or a space to voice her own opinion. A lot, of, a lot of times, like when it comes to conflict, we feel like we need to like 
justify ourselves or like there's this one truth in the middle and we're like speaking to it like as though this is the only way to make this one thing happen yeah and it's not always like one answer to the to the problem one answer to this one solution right and i find a lot of times we can avoid conflict if i can just give her the place to like speak and not silence her voice and a lot of times she brings a lot of ideas and thoughts to the table that I truly never considered or, or figured would have been a solution to it. Right. Um, and it, it has helped us in in how we communicate with each other. Yeah. It reminds me of that one time when a pastor came and he, he held up a prophetic workshop and something that he mentioned to us was listen to each other, right? And he said, yeah. that'll save you years of marriage counseling. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to each other, so yeah. that's good. And then for me, when Zach does offer me that space to be vulnerable, it is now my responsibility to open up. And I kind of talked about this in our previous video about how I kind of struggle to, you know, be transparent, be open, especially in the moment when I'm feeling heated or whatever the case is. Like my responsibility is to voice what I'm actually feeling and to not bottle it up and on the inside and process it on the inside because then that can lead to things escalating and when things are you know unaddressed and they just start piling up on each other and before you know it you're exploding and you said something earlier like you're now reacting to the person or the situation yeah. versus responding to that situation yeah i think one of the biggest ways to address conflict or to even avoid it before it ever happens is to take that time to actually plan out those conversations um, and like almost like schedule those in like hey Wednesday let's like sit down like such and such time just just talk like hear about like what's going on or yeah. hear, your, hear your plans your, your thoughts about what you want to do next week stuff like that what could be anything mm -hmm. but plan that time out before before different events happen or take place and then you're left reacting to a situation yeah. as opposed to like just communicating about it. Like, right. I thought you was going to do this. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't know you was going to be able to have the, like, at that point when you're having that kind of conflict, the communication isn't, isn't really beneficial. It's just, yeah. it's just reaction at that point. Right. And, you know, conflict just manifests mm -hmm. from that. So, yeah. So one thing that our pastor, Zach's <clears throat> dad, mentioned to us that he also learned from a um, married couple that kind of held a marriage retreat yeah. was something called the five minute meeting. And we love this because it gives us that time to have an intentional conversation. Yeah. Even when we're like super busy or we may be caught up with stuff, we can take five minutes out of our day or five minutes on a, let's say three weeks, uh, three days out of the week to come together and talk. And yeah. I will, we want to share this five minute meeting with you guys. We shared it before on our Instagram at Zach and Gabby in a reel, so you can go ahead and watch that as well. But essentially the five minute meeting is five questions that you guys get to ask each other and to get insight on into like how the other person is feeling or something right. that you may have done that kind of hurt that your spouse or your partner and things that are also like our joys, right? Things that you love about them, things that they've done in the week that kind of made you happy so it's not all negative. Right. And even if you're yeah. like busy throughout the week, you, you say you're working a lot or you work just uh, crazy schedules where, mm -hmm. you know, you're always away from each other during the day or something, you know, even if it's a phone call, you can have this five minute meeting over the phone mm -hmm. and then like, be able to just catch up with your spouse and it's like, yeah, that's it's good. actually beneficial. It does something for you instead of just like, well, what'd you eat for lunch? You know? Right. <laughs> Did you eat today? Yeah. <laughs> Number one, what do you need from me right now? Yeah, we, we actually wrote this down in our notes, too, because we pulled back up. Yeah. So, babe, what do you need from me right now? Um, I just need your whole attention so we can get this video over. Oh, okay. I'm just playing. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, how can I take some of the burden off of you today? I love that question because then it invites the other person to now help. Step into. And step into exactly what yeah. you're dealing with so that you don't feel like you're alone in whatever you're dealing with. Yeah. Let's say you're feeling overwhelmed because you have an upcoming meeting or something that you're planning an event. Your spouse now has that invitation to help you. Yeah. In that process, I love that. Then after we ask you know those questions, it's then it's communicating from like your point of view. Yeah. You know, I'm really sorry that 
I didn't take the time to make your lunch this morning for you after work. Or, yeah, I'm sorry. That's happened I, before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that I left you with all this laundry to do. Yeah. I didn't contribute in any help. This so number three <laughs> is I'm sorry for. Number four, some of the things that I love about you most are your beautiful eyes. Aww. I love how patient and understanding you are with me, regardless of my attitude, regardless of uh, my temper sometimes. You're always there, you're always supporting, you're always that accountability partner when I need it, even when I don't need it, <laughs> or when I think I don't need it. Yeah. You're, you're, the, you're the number one. Aww. What can I pray about with you? That's number five. Mm -hmm. So then you end it with you guys coming together. You're praying. You're, you know, inviting the Holy Spirit to move and to minister to you guys together. And that you guys are in unity and mm -hmm. one accord. So we love it. <laughs> and I'll even put the five-minute meeting in the description yeah. box. Because you can just copy, I guess, copy and paste it. And paste it somewhere so that you can you reference it. Right, reference it. Because it's... Honestly, amazing. <laughs> it's super it amazing. It's a quick, easy, simple tool that you can use together with your spouse. In T minus a couple weeks or so, I don't know when, we are celebrating our one year anniversary. And two and a half weeks. Yeah, so this is some of the things that we've learned. And we have some <clears throat> uh, exciting news to share with you guys as well yeah. in the near future. So definitely stay tuned for that and those testimonies. Wink. Wink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we love you guys. We hope that this video was super encouraging, helpful. Don't forget to visit the description box and go and check BetterHelp <clears throat> out. I have a 10% off your first month with betterhelp.com slash Gabriella. And again, BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. And you can even choose a therapist that is Christian. Let's say you want a woman therapist, right? You yeah. have those options to choose from. So I highly recommend checking them out today for a therapist that you can meet with consistently according to your schedule, all at your convenience online. Definitely. We love you guys. And until next time, we'll see you again. Bye. Bye.